as promised in the quick start tutorials, this is the expanded tutorial for the Boolean tool. This is an underused feature that can create shapes and cutouts for text or shape assets. This tool is for combining, subtracting, and using a combination of both when using assets. This will only work on non-animated items. First off, under the Boolean option listed in the drop-down menu, you will see four separate options. Boolean Union, Boolean Subtract, Boolean XOR, and Boolean Intersect. I'm going to go over each option and show what each does. Then at the end of this tutorial, I will do a project using the Boolean Subtract option. Let's start with Boolean Union. What this does is combine all of the items selected into one path group. I'm drawing a triangle and an ellipse that will overlap some of the triangle. Once the two shapes are finished, simply select the two items in the timeline panel and then go to the edit screen and right click on the items to bring up the drop down menu. Scroll to the Boolean option and select Boolean Union. Once the path group is created, either press Alt plus P or return to the Boolean drop down menu and select the path group to shape option. You can now apply 2D or 3D textures, color overlays, and plugins to the asset. To create an arrow, all you have to do is create an arrow tip from the triangle shape and the arrow shaft from the rectangle shape. Position the shaft and then select the two items in the timeline panel. Right click on the items in the edit screen. Scroll down to the Boolean option and then select Boolean Union to finish the pointer. I've used this option to create pointers and arrows for the tutorials. This is extremely easy and fast. Boolean Subtract is basically the exact opposite of Boolean Union. When two objects are selected, Choosing the Boolean Subtract option will remove the portion of the item that intersects with the second item. In this tutorial, I will be using the Track Layer Matched with Object Layer button in the activated position. This means that the item on top has priority. The topmost item will be the item and portion removed when selecting Boolean Subtract. If you decide that the other item should be the portion subtracted, just shift the item's position on the timeline to change priority. If your items are selected, you will first need to deselect them. Then right click on the item that you wish to move. In my example, I am moving the top item to the bottom. Reselect and apply Boolean Subtract to see the difference in the subtraction. Next is the Boolean XOR option. This is similar to Boolean Subtract. The main difference is being able to subtract the selected item and remove just the portion that intersects with the other items. In this example, I'm going to use three assets. A triangle, an ellipse, and a title. Move the ellipse so that a small portion intersects with the triangle. Now create a title that will extend beyond the two shapes. The only reason I'm changing the title color is to visually differentiate the title from the shapes. Now select the three items in the timeline panel. Go to the edit screen and right click on the assets. Scroll down the menu and choose the Boolean XOR option. The final option is Boolean Intersect. When you place two objects that have intersecting points on Boolean Intersect, 
Everything is removed except the areas that intersect. In this example, I'm still using the triangle and title assets. What you will need to watch is the difference in the color of the remaining part of the title after applying Boolean intersect to the assets. Timeline position does not make a difference in what is subtracted when using Boolean intersect. However, if the items selected are of different colors, the color of the item in the priority position will be the color of the final image. I've shown you examples of how each option works, so let me show you a full-blown logo using the Boolean Subtract option. Most people are familiar with the Fantastic Four logo. To see this, go to this address. We can create this very easily by using the Boolean Subtract option. What we need to do first is create a circle in the edit screen. Do this by first selecting the shape button on the menu bar and then clicking the edit screen. Now hold your control button down and drag your mouse with the left button depressed until you get a large enough circle. Keep it within your safe area lines. You can use whatever font that you want, but I am using the America Sans font. Go back to the menu bar and select the T icon. Click the edit screen with your cursor and type the number 4. Now place the number 4 over top of the circle and align it so that it looks like my example. Position the 4 within the circle by dragging the bounding box nodes. Try to get the parts of the 4 that extend outside of the circle as close to the example as possible. Once that is complete, select the two items on the timeline and go to the edit screen. Now right click in the middle of the circle to bring up the drop down menu. Scroll down to the Boolean listing and a second drop down panel will open. Select Boolean subtract. Boolean XOR would work depending on how the project is set up. When you release your mouse button, you will notice that the 4 was removed, and you are left with the cutout of the 4 within the circle. Now return to the Boolean drop-down and choose Path Group to Shape, or press Alt plus P on your keyboard. Now all you have to do is choose your textures and styles. I'm going to do mine in 3D, so to save time I've already set up my 3D presets within the 2D Path to 3D plugin. Basically, all I have to do now is set up my object animation and lighting. The funnel in the lower right corner of the edit screen is the light object that I will be using. As I scrub the timeline, the funnel will pass across the logo. Now let's animate the logo. I'm going to make it spin one complete rotation. Go to the timeline panel and expand the 3D transform track to reveal the keyframe options. Select the Rotate Y option and turn on the keyframe. This is the starting point and nothing has to be changed. Now click the arrow to move the cursor to the end of the track. Go to the 3D Transform tab in the Properties panel and click it. In order to make the 4 do one complete rotation, the Rotate Y keyframe setting must be changed to 360. After you have that set, click OK to return to the main Viz Title GUI. Grab the end of the timeline and drag it out.
Press your spacebar or the play arrow to play the animation. You can see how easy it is to use these tools. The best way to learn how to use this tool is to play with it. Draw two or three shapes on the edit screen and apply each of the options to the selected assets. You will soon see how easy it is to draw a shape, logo, or even modify text with the Boolean tools. Mm -hmm.